Hi, my name is Helmut Hattler and I'm a bass player and I'm playing bass for quite a long time. Equipment changed a lot, so this part is about why I play since a couple of years. Not big stacks, but small cabinets as wedges on stage. Because there's several reasons. You have a sound engineer and if you have a big stack on stage, he will suffer you know, for mixing reasons, if you blow the, the too much uh, volume from the stage, you will make nobody happy. It's especially when you're a bass player. With guitar players, it's maybe different because they need the, the speakers to distort somehow. Bass players don't. So the idea was why not uh, listening with the ears? Because we don't, you don't listening with your knees if you have a if you have a, a small cabinet down there you stand here you know you won't hear it quite properly so the idea is put it in an angle that you hear the travels very well put it on a place where you play and of course everybody has two uh, additional wedges in front of you, you know, it's, it's, it's normal in the meanwhile. So if you have a, a little stereo device, like um, a little chorus, it makes the sound even wider. So you have a, a, a very comfortable sound also. It's not just uh, that you hear yourself and you don't disturb the, the sound engineer, but also to have a, a comfortable sound that makes you feel good. And if you feel good, you play better, of course. So I have a, a very old little stereo device and I have this Warwick uh, LWA, which is um, split it, the two channels into stereo and if I play something very extreme just to make you give you an idea it's like You have a, a certain mood and you can play much better with the mood if you have a, a very nice sound. If I play songs and I play a lot of songs with my band Hatlam, the verses are a little narrower. It's like... To make the singer comfortable, you know, not disturb too much about its sh sh syllables. And if it's going to the chorus, you take a wider chorus, like... So you have a place about how many square meters you want and have a beautiful sound, two cabinets that you can uh, choose the volume and the sound and the rest on the front is like a matter of the sound engineer and, and this is perfect. And also if you're getting old, you don't have to carry the stack, you know, that's very important too. <laughs> Thank you. 
And my opinion and philosophy about sound is that things should sound okay without being EQ'd too much. So an instrument, if you turn off the volume, it should sound already like, like, can you hear this? If the sound is it's okay. It's like the same thing with a, with an amplifier. If you if you see the the EQing on my amplifier, I don't do too much, so because the sound should be okay in the beginning. So this is the the flat sound already. Like we have the basses, we have some trebles. So if we have this is or a zero. Even passive sounds okay already. It does something, but you don't necessarily need it. The sustain is very, very long with this bass because the idea was to create a neck which is very dense. And this wood is like the densest thing and the heaviest thing we could find. It's called tank wood. To have this long sustain, maybe you don't need it, but it's always cool to have some, you know, in spare, a reserve. It's like the same thing, the EQ here, and EQ there. So if you have, it's like a fast car. You don't necessarily have to drive it all the time very fast until the kick down is burning. You can cruise very slowly, but if you need some extra power, you got it. So this is my philosophy about sound, material in general, EQing, and also effects. My effects are very moderate, you know, for, as I said, to, to, to have a, a song created well, you have a, a verse, you give a, you give the verse very, a very a moderate effect, like a little bit of chorus, but you won't listen to it. But if you go into the, the, the song chorus, Or even you make an end like or whatever. So you have something you can use it as an effect, or you can use echoes. But it's not the the normal level. It's just an extra level. You can play and have fun. You can use it for your compositions if you if you're brave enough. <laughs> but in general, I would say to have a, your your basic sound should be sounding great in the beginning like this. As I said, you don't need too much to get an extra level if you have the basic thing done already. So EQ is on zero, volume is not on zero, <laughs> maybe on 11, um, and you have some extra tools to make the curve go up.
Also, the, the whammy bar is maybe a, a thing that you don't need. But it's nice if you have, if you have uh, a little chorus effect on it. With flageolets, it's very nice. So all the things together, the sound like direct to your face, not to, the, to your knees. The EQ is just an extra kick down and a whammy bar just for fun. And then you have so many extra little things in spare that you can use if you want to use it. But the basic thing should be on zero and uh, listen to your bass without amplification. And if the sound is cool already, it's a good sign. So this is it for now. Have fun and try out. I hope it helps you a little bit for, for your playing and for your point of view. Until the next time, bye-bye. My name was Helmut Hattler. Tschüss.